the moral missing thread. All right, welcome to or welcome back to the channel, whatever the case may be for you. I know uh, those of you who are returning, you're probably tired of hearing me say this, but I'm going to say it again in this video, and I'm going to mean it. Today I'm doing something different. Uh, if you're new here, if this is your first time ever visiting my really weird channel, um, I'm not a reaction channel, but welcome, and uh, I'm Damien. And like I just said, this is not a reaction channel. Um, but yeah, so today, uh, yeah, like I also just said, I'm doing something different. Uh, I'm being real fucking redundant today, but that's okay. Um, on my last video, uh, you know, I did kind of a, a little bit of a review. I don't think I was really in-depth. I thought a lot more about it after I was done. But, you know, I did a review on the, the Taurus G2C 9mm polymer frame striker fire double action 9mm handgun. Um, I should probably, you know what, uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop the magazine out of this. Um, it's clear. This is a uh, safe. Unloaded now. Um, it's for extra measure of safety. For those of you who are into that, I'm going to go ahead and put that little thumb safety on and reholster it. So, uh, no worries there. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. Um, I got asked on that video um, by a you know a regular uh, to the channel. Uh, I, I got asked uh, a very important question that I actually think about a lot and never thought about actually doing a video about it. But what fragrances should you wear to the range, or what fragrances do I wear to the range? What are range appropriate fragrances? I don't know if that's actually a thing, but being that I am a fragrance fanatic, as many of you uh, are well aware, and uh, I do like frequ frequenting the range, frequenting the range as well, um, you know, for target practice and such, uh, and training. Um, yeah, th that's something that that I'm I, I'm forced to think about. You know, I I think about fragrances every day. There's a lot of things that go into me determining what fragrance I'm going to wear for the day. When it comes to the range, that's like a whole other beast in itself. There's a lot of factors that I have to consider when I'm, I'm planning what I'm going to wear. Uh, I think about my overall presentation, the fit, the, you know, the, the, the outfit, the wardrobe, whatever you want to say. Um, generally, um, I try to keep it, you know, kind of casual. Um, but I, when it comes to fragrances, um, I go for things that lean more heavily masculine, more like hyper masculine, really masculine sense. Uh, so we're just we're gonna get into seven of my personal favorites. Most of them are on the more affordable end. Um, these are things you can find relatively easily and fairly inexpensive. Some of them really inexpensive. Uh, some of them are they're they're all designer. Um, there's not really any niche in here, so, um, you know, it, nothing's going to break the bank, really. Uh, but these are, you know, fragrances that I like, and, you know, the, the atmosphere at the range, you know, I think about the the type of people, the range I'm going to, the type of people I'm, I might encounter, uh, you know, I might stop and talk to, uh, what I'm wearing, the overall general kind of... Uh, atmosphere or, or smells that are going to already be there, you know, because you're dealing with like gunpowder and lead and things of that nature, um, you know, and if, you, if you're if you going on a crowded day and there's a lot of people shooting and you're in, you, if you know, you know, uh, words, Damien, fuck, but so we're going to start off, uh, this this is also a, this is going to be a, a, a nice little double here. Um, this is Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDP. I got fingerprints all, I need to clean my bottles. Uh, this is a very, this is a woody, or, or a, more of a, I really need to clean these bottles. This is, this can be, this can double as a range fragrance or a date night fragrance. The performance on this is not that great. And we're, I'm not going to lie. If you if you know anything about fragrances and you're familiar with this, you already know. Um, 
you can go heavy on the trigger, pun intended. Um, you know, a lot of people, oh, less is more. Uh, don't announce yourself. Be discovered. Let, let them find you. And, you know, fuck that. With this fragrance, I mean, go heavy. You know, do do a spray behind each ear. Do a couple on each side of your neck, on the back of your neck. Go down your shirt. Uh, hit each wrist, front and top. Hit inside the elbows, on top of your arms a couple of times. Get it on your clothes. 12 to 16 sprays. You'll go through your bottle pretty quick. But, you know, um, this is, it's a very, like, wet tobacco. Like a really... Ju juicy is a good descriptor I don't know um, it's very woody but clean uh, it's got a really just delectable tobacco kind of scent mixed in with the like a real woody aroma um, it's just like it's sexy but at the same time it's still pretty like masculine and kind of like a boss kind of scent um, this is going to be alluring but it's also going to say like hey I, I know how to shoot a firearm and I look good doing it. Um, it's a great fragrance. Really great. You can generally find this under $100 on most discounter sites. Uh, you can find this at like fragrancex.com, fragrancenet.com, uh, Aura Fragrance, uh, Micro Perfumes, Joma Shop, places like that. Um, okay, so moving right along. Next, uh, another personal favorite of mine. This is another one that's... Uh, Oh God! So this is this is Mason Martin Margella uh, Jazz Club from his Replica line. Uh, this is supposed to simulate heady cocktails and cigars in Brooklyn in 2013 at a speakeasy. Um, I maybe that's what it smells like. I don't I don't know. Um, it smells definitely very boozy, very smoky. Um, Definitely a great range fragrance. This could also double as a date fragrance, I think. That's what I'm actually wearing right now. Uh, I, I wore it to Walmart. It's also a Walmart fragrance. No, you can't get it at Walmart. Uh, let me rephrase that. I was joking, it, it, saying it's a date fragrance and a Walmart fragrance. I wear it to Walmart. I, I don't know why y'all fucking watch me, but this stuff's oh god, it's so good. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it smells very smoky, like, it's got cognac, it's got, or not cognac, but rum, uh, it's, like, tobacco, um, it's got, I think, I think it's got a little bit of vanilla tinge to it, not much, it's not sweet at all, but very masculine, uh, masculine, masculine, uh, whatever, anyway, it's a fucking great fragrance, um, anyone around you, uh, last time I wore it to Walmart, not tonight, but last time, I had just gotten there and I put a couple of hits on in the car before I got out and I was walking in and there was a young lady walking in behind me and she stops and she goes, God damn you smell good. I shit you not. Great range fragrance, great Walmart fragrance, great date fragrance. This is another great masculine, boozy, woody kind of scent. This is Bulgari or Bulgari, however you want to pronounce it. Man in Black, Eau de Parfum. Um, so, oh, let me backtrack. This replica, this uh, jazz club, It usually you can find it like Sephora, Ulta, places like that, um, and other stores in the mall. You're looking at around anywhere from 120 to 150 on this. Uh, so, this, uh, is also by Al Alberto Morales. Mor Morales. Mor I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Same guy that uh, designed or came up with uh, Aqua de Gio, Aqua de Gio Perfumo. Uh, I think he did CK1. Um, he's done a bunch. Uh, I think he did Gucci Voice of the Snake. He's done every major designer and niche house. He's probably done something incredible for. He's one of the best perfumers in the world. Um, but this, uh, you know, this is another one that the uh, performance isn't super stellar. It's it's all right. You get some decent projection. Uh, the longevity isn't great, uh, but it's all right. You can go heavy with the trigger on this one. Um, I don't wear this one that often, but like for the range, this this is a good one. It's uh, yeah, yeah. This is. It's it's not gonna make a statement, but it's gonna it's gonna say, 
I mean, I'll make a little bit of a stink. I'll be like, hey, I, I smell good. I shoot guns. And uh, I smell like uh, I'm, I'm, I've been drinking cognac in the woods and, and smoking cigars. Uh, there's a theme here. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, so now this is another boozy woody one. <laughs> this, is, this, this is a, a cheap one. Oh, and this one, uh, I think this Bulgari, 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 the Man in Black Eau de Parfum, uh, I think I, I think you can find it for probably around $60, $70 at most discounter sites like the ones I mentioned earlier. Um, this one, God, I really need to clean all my bottles. This one's scratched a bit. This is Bentley for Men and Tents. I've done a, a funny video about this one before. Um, this is this is a really cheap one. I think you can get this for about $35, most discounter sites. But this is, uh, it's got a lot of wood to it. Um, definitely, I think it, it's got whiskey and wood and like a little bit of vanilla, some cinnamon. Um, I forget what else, but it's, uh, it's really, it smells niche. It doesn't smell like a designer or a brand or anything like that. Uh, it smells like something niche and the, the quality of the juice for the price is absolutely out of this world. Um, this is, this is just an incredible fragrance and, uh, most other reviewers, if you watch any, anybody, who has reviewed this fragrance any of the big name youtubers the fragrance reviewers all of them say this is like an incredible like boss fragrance very masculine very you got to be a certain type of man to pull this off not really but you know that's what they say but you you could pull this off i bet i bet you could pull this off even if you're not a man if you're a woman it's just gonna and you wear this people are like damn that is a boss bitch right there. In a complimentary sense, not saying that in a derogatory way by any means. But I love this. Um, moving right along. So, uh, oh, and yeah, like I, I said, you can find that most discount in hers between 35 and 40 bucks. This, oh my God. This is Latafa, uh, Oud for Glory. This, this is hands down one of my favorite fragrances of all time. I fucking love this this so much. Um, so this is a clone or a dupe of Anishio Oud for Greatness, which is like a, a $375, $400 niche fragrance. This, they imitated the bottle very well. Um, and for what you get, this is you can get to pick this up for usually around forty-five dollars. I think forty forty-five dollars. Um, most discounter sites have it. Uh, this is just it's unreal. I keep I keep getting this because I'm not going to spend four hundred dollars on Anishio Oud for Greatness over and over again because I go through this shit so fast. There's it's pointless and this smells once you once it dries down even in the opening it smells so. 99% similar that it's ridiculous. Uh, I love it. Love, 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 love it. Very masculine. Uh, it's really oud heavy. Um, the accords that are in there, there's like nutmeg, there's oud. Um, I forget what all else, but the way the, 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 way the notes come together, they make it a, a leather accord. So it smells like oud and leather. And like, if you don't know what oud is, Google. I'm not going to sit here and explain the whole process of, of how oud comes into play in fragrances, how it's harvested and, and all that stuff. I've, I've done videos about that before. Let's move along. But that that's, it's a banger. Um, so this, this is funny. This is really funny. Um, this is another relatively cheap. You can get this around 50 bucks. This is Cristiano Ronaldo uh, Legacy Private Edition. Uh, I like the... It's got a magnetic cap, which is kind of dope. I like the the stippling on here and the sides of the bottle. The bottle itself, uh, it's really nice. This is an unusual fragrance. Uh, funny story, I got this. I didn't know what it was when I was getting it. I, I had no fucking clue who Cristiano Ronaldo was. I didn't know he was like a football, soccer, whatever. I didn't know he was like that guy. Uh, I thought... 
when I saw somebody posted just a picture of the bottle, no description, no nothing about it in a fragrance group. And I was like, oh, that looks really cool. Um, so I, I, just, I wanted to get it out of curiosity. And I looked it up on uh, Fragrantica and looked at the note breakdown and the performance reviews. And I was like, oh, it sounds delightful. I'm going to I'm gonna take a chance. I'm going to blind buy it. Um, no, I was thinking Cristiano Ronaldo was some designer, some fragrance house or something. Maybe, maybe I, don't, I don't know. So I got it. Um, I didn't understand it when I smelled it. Um, it's very maple heavy. It's a frogeur, 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 frogeur. It's it's a it's a very old school smelling fragrance. It, it's like it's got that kind of like aftershave, old man aftershave kind of vibe, but then with a ton of maple, like yeah, like maple syrup, like maple leaf, like it smells very Canadian. <laughs> no offense, I'm just kidding. But uh, it wasn't until I found out who he was and saw an actual picture of him that it finally made sense. I'm like, oh, that makes sense now. Um, it, 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 I had to spray it a few times. I had to let it sit and ma ma macerate, macerate, macerate for a while um, before it finally started to really come into its own. I started to appreciate it. Um, I like it now. I, I rarely ever wear it. I will never wear it to work. Um, I would never wear it on a date. I'd wear it to Walmart and I would wear it to the range. It's very masculine. It's very old school vibe kind of situation going on here. Um, if I was going to a range where I knew there was going to be a lot of older gentlemen, uh, just kind of taking their time, just, you know, shooting some nice pistols just to, just to keep them, you know, in good functioning form and all that. I, I, this is what I'd wear. It's a nice fragrance. Nice man lean. Nothing special. Kind of weird. Uh, it's alright. It's a great range fragrance. That's what we're doing. We're doing fragrances I would wear to the range. And last but not least, a, another one of my favorite fragrances of all time. I believe it might be discontinued now. It's still, you can still find it. It's still available. This is Versace Pour Homme Oud Noir. Um, I do love oud fragrances. I love boozy fragrances. I love woody fragrances. Uh, when it comes to masculine things, that's what this selection. When I when I think of carrying uh, a concealed firearm or an unconcealed firearm, when I consider carrying, being somewhere and shooting firearms and the smells and what I'm wearing, these are the types of fragrances that are, are in my mind. These are the ones I'm looking at before I leave the house and debating on wearing. This is like oud and incense and uh, I forget what all else. I really should have looked more into the notes and tried to remember them before. But I'm usually really good at it and I'm just, I don't care today. I'm just trying to give you all good suggestions. But this, uh, this is relatively uh, inexpensive for what it is, it being a Versace fragrance and it being discontinued, I believe that's the rumor on the circuit right now. Um, you can generally find this around like 80 or $90. It might be more now, given the discontinued status, if, if it's still available. I, I've seen it semi-recently, like within the past couple of months, I've seen it a few times on different sites. I might have to get another bottle because this one's about half empty. This is another one that I repurchase frequently because it's just one of the most amazing scents in the world to me. I love this so much. Um, it's very mysterious, very dark, um, very alluring, but it also, it's very masculine. I get a lot of compliments on this one when I wear this out. I wear this to work a lot. Um, this, this is an all around great fragrance for any occasion, any situation. Um, it might not typically be the best in high heat if you're sweating a lot, but it's not going to be overwhelming or offensive by any means. Um, definitely great for fall and spring, even winter. Um, but yeah, hands down, one of my favorite fragrances of all time. Um, yeah, so those are those are fragrances I would wear to the range. And speaking of the range and 
guns and things of that nature. Uh, I've got new merch up in the shop related to this. Uh, you know, I, I mentioned it in my last video. I've got the Castle Doctrine shirt. If you know about Castle Doctrine uh, and you're in a state that, you know, that's a thing and you love that and you love your Second Amendment and all that shit and you want to rock this shirt, uh, this would be like, get some black and gray, like plaid pajama pants or shorts or whatever so, to sleep in or it's just solid black or solid gray or something and get this shirt and just wear it as a pajama shirt around your castle. You know what I mean? Like somebody kicks in your door and you, you walk out there with your firearm and your shirt and you just say, hey, castle doctrine, pal, what's up? You know, get it. And it would be a great gift for someone who really loves firearms and the castle doctrine in their state as well and there's also the g2c militia shirt if you are part of the Taurus gang uh and the moral militia my channel uh you know this is a, gr a great shirt to rock to uh show your enthusiasm uh but yeah i got cats to take care of so there's links in the description if you want to help out with that or support the channel in any way i appreciate your ongoing support i've got a few more really weird very unusual, typically not me, not the type of videos you're going to expect coming soon. Not reactions, a couple reactions, but again, they're going to be very different. But uh, I'm, I'm going to have some, some more fragrance videos, some more firearm videos, some weird unhinged reaction videos. And uh, dare I say, I'm going to dive into the political waters a little bit with some dumb shit. Um, so y'all get ready for that. Yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not ready for it. But hopefully you'll enjoy it. Um, but in the meantime, I gotta go. Good people.